Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to more Return to Grace. Last time we went through, we uh, searched through the apartments. This is to some canisters, which are audio recordings, uh, people with their wishes. We found out that Everett is a keeper, but we don't quite know what a keeper does yet. So we're still um, exploring. So we've got two more here that we can listen to. So let's jump straight into it. Logic will open the way to the beacon. You must go to the elevator. Hold your horses. Mm, one word. Doubt you'll ever get this message, Grace. We've been waiting weeks now. With I hope Keeper Everett is okay. I've been told his sermons are wonderful. And I hope he will be able to deliver the word of Grace again soon. If things work. I'd like you to know that we still love you and think about you. Great comfort to our family over the years. We've all made the for us. With your wisdom, you are missed. So Grace would receive wishes and then leave people with instruction in the form of sermons. Ooh. Could that really be all there was to it? Ideas are powerful. Perhaps just returning with a more enlightened perspective was enough to move society toward common goals. Highly unlikely. Grace must have had some control over planetary infrastructure if she was to have had the influence you suspect. Why do you insist on defying me? Because I'm starting want to enjoy to. it. Here, Grace. Najisha, she was so excited when I got the summons. We talked about this for months who we could help, who was most deserving. She honestly believed we could come up with a wish that could make everything perfect. Can never do that. Thank you for choosing me. And thank you for letting me delay coming here. I want to be true to her memory, her wishes, her unlimited love for humanity. But my only wish, the only thought I have, hmm, sorry, is to have her back. Mm. I want her back. There couldn't have actually been anything Grace could have done for her. No. Grace allowed her to voice her grief. That must be Najisha. There isn't one stuck in the tube, no. Well, at least get to the central elevator now. As well, last one. Here you go. Great. Hey, what happened to the lights? I believe control has turned them off, Addy. Not cool, boss. Control? Unbelievable. Oh no. Look how beat up this is. It must have been done in anger. I believe fear also played a part here. I've been instructed by Grace to make a wish. Not something big and altruistic, not for someone else, but for me. A real, honest wish, my heart's true desire. Honestly, this this long flight to the middle of nowhere, months without my family, uh, missing the harvest with a per, per diem that barely covers expenses for what? Some mystical song and dance that makes us feel like we're somehow part of this robot theocracy. This whole thing, the temple, the hushed tones, the, the awe that people seem to show this place is ridiculous. My honest wish is to be left alone long enough to actually make some headway on the farm and pull in a decent crop. Ooh. It doesn't sound like everyone was happy to come here. For Grace to understand what made people unhappy was just as important as knowing what made them content. Yeah, but were they forced to come here? 
Because imagine if you were forced to go there, you wouldn't be very happy, would you? Well, we've done that one down here. Oh, here we go. You're looking pretty smug. What's the pattern? Another easy one. Light the four corners of the pad. You really didn't need my help for this one. It would be a common pattern when guessing symbols. I have to give you something to do, right? Yeah, well, there's a. That one is a Look bit easier. vacuum tubes. Must be one in every room in the settlement. Keepers must have been busy. It's what Grace does with the wishes that should interest us. I mean, I'm pretty sure I've seen them all, but... I just want to double check. Does it feel like it could be an achievement? No, that one ain't got one, I don't think. Oh, it's, it's annoying, I just want to double check. Can I climb back down? I can't. So if I've missed any, I've missed some. Yeah, I'll just have to deal with it. Which will be rather annoying, because I didn't know I had to look for them until I... Found the tube. <laughs> Canister tubes. Mm. Fancy shamancy. Did you like my little game? You mean the game where you refused to help us? I provided you with the opportunity to prove yourself. Is that not why you're here? I'm an archaeologist. I'm here to do my job. I don't think Addie enjoys having obstacles placed in the way of her goals. We have arrived at our destination. The Spire Pilgrims must have gathered here. To listen to the Keeper's sermons, I guess. People will return here once the beacon is restored. Flock and Shepherd will be reunited. I feel like maybe we should go down here and have a look. Mm. People were clearly sleeping here. They must have dragged this up from the settlement. Pilgrims were building fires. Why would they do that? Someone went through a lot of food. Guessing they were here for a while. Judging by bedding and volume of food containers, five to ten people might have been here for over twenty days. Yeah, that was the bedding they pulled up and all the things that they were... Oh god, there's loads of canisters. Where is Grace? Well, I'm not alone in wondering. I am here. It is the people who are lost. It must have been written with charcoal from the fires. <laughs> Ooh. Wish canisters. These have never been used. For recording wishes, maybe. They look pretty banged up. Ooh. So I can climb all that. Quite the manifesto. I don't recognize the language. I am embarrassed to say I do not recognize it either. Well, they were here long enough to get bored. Mm, can't look at any of this, it seems. Mm, don't know what that is. Oh, there's a big. Gotta imagine that. Imagine wanting to listen to the sermon and you get, uh, you get stuck there. To crane your neck round. I'm 
seems to be holding my weight. Smash through the glass. This must weigh a ton. At least a couple people work together to break through here. Ooh, people were living up here, so. More camps. Another stage in the siege. Looks like the numbers really fell off here. Most gave up by now. Or died. No bodies yet. Death to Everett. Pretty clear who they blamed. Mm, this right. must be an attempted barricade. I'm guessing there was a lengthy siege. So, when Grace shut down, the pilgrims blamed the Keeper. They demanded to see Grace, or thought they could reactivate her. The Keeper turned off the heat. Pilgrims built fires, dug in. They eventually got restless. Wish canisters started flying. As pilgrims were breaking through the partition, the Keeper and his followers built up a barricade. We'll have to make our way through the barricade to learn how it ended. So the Keeper must have stood here, addressed the visitors, gave his sermons. Can you imagine having the solar system coming to you for answers? The Keeper was merely a vessel for the word of Grace. Then why not have Grace address them? There is sometimes more power in what is imagined than imagine in what is seen. Imagine building it, coming all this way just to build this. Oh, let's squeeze through here and see... Should have put the light on first, shouldn't I? You'll want your light, Addy. Yeah, I know. I Can't make this out. Forgot. Twenty-seven sixty-six to twenty-seven eighty. These dates are from the old Julian calendar, which makes them very old. One thousand two hundred years, by all accounts. Ooh. Twenty-seven eighty to twenty-eight thirty. I'm guessing these were the time periods that these keepers served here. Nothing here either. That would have been a long. This canister looks undamaged. And it has been recorded on. 2942 to 2956. Oh, did that Does sound... it mean keepers were at the spire for at least. 444 years. That sounds about right. Let's hack it. Listen to it. Oh, come on. Whoa, this one's a bit more. Oh, yeah. This has gone on long enough. There's nothing Keeper ever can do to meet your demands. You must return to your ships now, or we will be forced to take more drastic measures. So this was left for the angry pilgrims. What do you think? more drastic measures were. I don't know. But you might get to see that dead body. Second barricade. Looks like they got under this one. I mean, I doubt you're going to see a dead body. Do you know where this goes? To a funicular that leads to the next section of the spire. <laughs> Long the, live Grace. If there was a Apparently dead body not. there, it'd be decomposed on that. Another canister. Oxygen is almost out. We are going to make one last push today before returning to the ships. Grace, help us. We will win. Ooh. A lot of fighting going on. Oxygen tanks. Everett up the ante. Cut off life support here. Maybe. Hold on, Addy. 
The room beyond the airlock is uncompressed. I don't believe it can be sealed. Something must have been compromised. You'll want your helmet on. Helmet on. Let's have a the look, guys. The tracks ahead lead to the highest point of the spire, known as the Lighthouse. <laughs> is that where we'll find Grace's processors? Obviously. You need only worry about the beacon, Addy. Oh. Any care about themselves? This doesn't look operational. Let me try it, Addy. Okay. Come on! It's ice again! The force needed to break through the ice dam would only come from directing all power to control processors. Which only I can do. Do it. Great. On one condition. <sighs> What's that? You shall have no others before me. Cast aside that device on your wrist and continue with me alone. Whoa, hang on. No, Addy. But how will I communicate with you? Mine is the only voice that resonates freely throughout every aspect of the spire. My words live within the vessel in which you stand now. They reverberate through the very walls of the Enclave above. Through the many devices and instruments at my control. Yep, I got it. You're everywhere. What if she needs another configuration for something? She will not. Is there another way to get to the top? Of course. The funicular is merely the most survivable option. Throw the device from the funicular window to take your place at my side. Oh. So if I throw this away, you'll take me to the top. It will be done. There must be other options, Addy. The emergency exit in the airlock may provide an alternative path. This door leads out into the storm? To your certain demise, yes. He's being dramatic. Your death is only marginally likely. Oh, only marginally. In theory, you could follow the funicular track up the mountain slope to the base of the lighthouse structure. It would be dangerous. So I give up my options by throwing away my calm, or take my chances in the storm? It's an important decision, to be sure. You must not do this, Addy. In taking this risk, you jeopardize all of humanity. Oh, I'm doing it. Would you deny them my guidance and protection? This is what can happen when you make ultimatums. You and your ilk were distracting Addy from her true purpose. We are providing Addy with a variety of perspectives. Sorry, boss. I'm keeping my comm device. You may not live to regret this, but countless billions in the solar system will. Storm Hello? Must be interference from the storm. Addy? Alan? Where are you? I was right, Alan. I, I found Grace. You need to return immediately, Addy. Your oxygen must be dangerously low. I'm good, Alan. You need to listen to me. If I'd listened to you, we wouldn't have made it past Mars. Wait, did you say Grace is still active? Not... Exactly, but I'm working with her oldest service to try to bring her back online. Well, one of these servers is actively blocking me. I can guess which one. You need to get back. Alan? Alan! You're not considering climbing across that structure, are you? Do I have a choice? There is also a path that descends into the canyon. It looks well worn and preserved over time. Which means it's likely sheltered and safe. Ooh, and boring. The funicular structure looks faster and more fun. Don't tease, Addy. The walk will give you time to think and perhaps a chance for us to talk. What are you thinking, Addy? Risking it. The fastest way to the other side. Risking it for a chocolate or biscuit. To the bottom of the canyon. I'm with you, Addy. Slow and steady. Don't forget to breathe. Whoa. Breathe. Oh, great scene. That was too close. I pr I went left then. Stupid thing. I went left then. I promise you. Oh boy. Out your mouth. Oh, there Just dive to the side and grab on. Oh. Sure, this was the smartest choice. 
Nonsense. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. But what kills you... kills you. True. Take it in, Addy. How many humans can say they've climbed across a train track bridge thingy in a lunar ice storm? They only live once, right? Uh, not sure that applies to you. Oh, maybe not. But who knows what's going to happen at the end of all this? We gotta enjoy it while it lasts, right? Maybe you're right, pal. That's a bit of a stretch. You can make that, right, Addy? Please, consider the consequences here. You're back. I never left, Addy. <sighs> I simply can't. Oh, that's... And you I thought that was something outside. Job. It is unlikely. And a failed attempt would risk grave injury. Listen to logic. You must turn back and take the canyon path. But we're so close! There goes nothing. Disappoint. Your vitals are still good. Can you stand? Yeah, just, uh, just give me a second. Addy? I can say it, Mom. You were right. I don't want to be right. I want you to be okay. Are you okay? Mm, good. Not really, but. But you're going to push on. I'm going to push on. <sighs> The easier way. How much farther? It's another 50 meters to the base of the lighthouse. This wasn't so bad then. You still have to find a way into the lighthouse. So there's still time to regret not taking the free ride to the top. And what would have been the fun in that? <laughs> and then all of you guys would have disappeared. And I'd have been on my own. What's this? An emergency escape ladder. You could work out the override to bring it down, or see if there's another way up. Let's see if we can do this. So I can bring down the ladder by doing something here? Of course. You've proven to be clever enough. The path keeps going. We can see if there's another way in. So what's it going to be, Addy? Something that challenges your mind? Or something that challenges my respect for you? The numeric override that lowers the ladder is 50 and can be represented in binary. I can give you the sequence. I happen to know a bit about ancient computer languages. Turning each switch adds a different fixed value. Starting with 1 on the far right and increasing by exponents of 2 as we move from right to left. So I just start mucking around until I get the number 50. But you needn't muck around. I no. can just tell you the sequence. Yeah, well maybe I want to muck around. Very well. But I'm here if you require my assistance. <laughs> so smart, Addy. Compared to what? Why wouldn't you let me help you with the override? Because I want to do it myself. Yourself. It seems inefficient to make calculations that have already been completed and freely offered. Satisfying to do the work sometimes. Woohoo! The door to the station airlock is unlocked and can be manually opened. And that's convenient, for once. Yep, and that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, next time, we'll be going into the belly of the beast. Um, yeah, we'll be going into the lighthouse. Um, I don't know whether that's the end of the game, but I kind of wanted to leave it here in case it is the end, so I can do more of an end video. Um, but yeah, 
I hope you have enjoyed watching this. If you have, like, comment, subscribe, um, ring the notification bell. That will be very much appreciated. Um, and hopefully I shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day, have a good afternoon, have a good evening or have a good night. And I shall catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye bye.